there is no physical yoga, mental yoga or spiritual yoga. Yoga brings you the awareness that every move of your body touches your inner self and every rise and fall of your mind finds its reflection in the body. Once this becomes your experience, you realize that your actions influence other minds and spirits as well. Oneness and integration with the world around you becomes a reality. Thus, yoga gifts you vastava or the power to influence everyone and everything around you. Namaste. Hello and welcome to Ayer Integrated Yoga Exercise Routine Class 13. Ah, I like the way it rhymed routine and 13. Namaste. My name is Sundar Ayer and thank you for taking this class. Let's begin with the Namaste. Breathe in. As you breathe out, join your palms together and bend your head forward. Breathe in. As you breathe out, stretch, interlock your fingers, turn the palm upwards, drop your neck back, take in a deep breath. As you breathe out, stretch your hands sideways, come down to position, breathe in. As you breathe out, gently crawl forward, get into position, drop your neck down, breathe in. As you breathe out, twist gently to your left, breathe in. As you breathe out, come back to the center, drop your head down, breathe in. As you breathe out, gently twist to the right side, breathe in. As you breathe out, come back to the center, drop your neck down, breathe in. As you breathe out, come back once more to the sitting position. This is invocation. Let's begin conversing with our body. So for that, let's get up on our feet. We begin our warm-up routine. Beginning with the neck, we're going to drop it back and forth. Let's drop it back and down. Loose and relaxed. Back and down. Excellent. Loose and relaxed. Back and down. All right. Let's turn our head and look as far back as we possibly can. Beginning with the left side. Make sure your head doesn't tilt, hold it there, hold it there, hold the intensity, come back to the center, to the right. Look as far back to the right as possible. Make sure the shoulder doesn't follow you. Twist, twist, twist the neck and come back to the center. Neck rotation, clockwise. Keep your eyes open so you don't feel dizzy. You're welcome to close your eyes too if you are comfortable. Counterclockwise, loose and relaxed. One, two, like I always say, anywhere between three to five times, do it on either side. Interlock your fingers, elbows forward, press your chin to the chest. Keep your spine straight. Hold it there, to the right side of the chest, to the left side of the chest. Come back. Wonderful. Fingertips on the shoulders. And there could be classes where we might skip an exercise or two. And that's all right. It's not the end of the world. Let's go all the way up and back. Excellent. All the way up and back. Okay, come back. Backwards. Up and down. Let's go backwards. Up and down. Try and rotate as much as you can. Up and down. Okay, full arm rotation. This is fun. Two, three, four. Backwards. One, two, three, and four. All right. I'm going to keep my feet apart and swing and twist from side to side. Let's begin from the left and right and left. My foot always turns in the direction of my twist and right and left and right. Excellent. So we spoke to our neck, shoulders, and then we flow the awareness. Shift your awareness to different parts of the body. That's the whole idea. Wrists, interlock your fingers, shake it up and down, clockwise, counterclockwise, 
that's good let's hold our right wrist fairly tight shake it close tight into a fist stretch one close open two close open that's three shake your left wrist close tight into a fist stretch one feel the fingertips as you stretch close stretch that's two close stretch that's three all right waist hip rotation one two and three backwards one this is very crucial that you prepare especially the lower back for exercise of the spine and the lower back is very sensitive and you've got to be careful and so I eight out of ten people by the time they are 40 have some form of back pain or the other support your lower back look down keep your feet together push your hip out the hip out exercise push your hip out breathe in and out hold it there feel the intensity on the lower back but since your palms are there it's supported get your elbows close wonderful come back gently bend down a little bit forward just to ease the pressure come back all right then comes the thigh lift your left ankle Press it to the hip, press it to your seat as much as possible and stretch and stretch and stretch. Excellent. Come down. Let's go to the right leg. Hold on to the ankle and stretch your thighs. So push your hip forward, raise the knee behind. Make sure the knees are not separated like this. Keep them together. That intensifies the stretch. All right. Come back to the center. Let's work on our knees. Once again, interlock your fingers under your thighs or hold on to a stool or a pillar. Take support. This is not a balancing exercise. This is simply warming up. Knees back and forth, side to side. Rotate. Two, three, counterclockwise. Two, Three. Now, big circles with the ankles. This is important. The knees and the ankles are not really protected. Two, three. That's why they're prone to accidents. Hold your ankle, hold your toe, and stretch. So we need to keep stretching them. We're going to work on some knee ass poses very soon. Back and forth. Sideways. Rotate. Two, three. Four, sideways, the other way. Two, three, four. Ankles, big circles. One, two, three, the other way. One, two, and three. Hold your ankle, hold your toe, and stretch, stretch, stretch. Come back. Wonderful. Let's do our spinal roll. And that will invigorate the spine. Yoga is all about the spine, so we want to touch every single bone on the spine and this is the only way we can do it ourselves so on the ground and if you want the tailbone you want the bone at the top of your neck both extremes touching the floor four and five all right and now from here we go back to our sitting Pose, <clears throat> come back to where we began the class. As I said, these few next few classes, we are laying foundations of yogic breathing. We talked about breathing through the throat or the glottis, and I hope you're practicing that. And I hope most of you have got the idea of how to do it. It's easier to breathe out when you use the glottis than when you breathe in. So, but you'll get there. You will get there. I'm just exaggerating. The sound is very hypnotic. Believe me, if you just want to meditate and feel calm, you don't have to put on and search for your MP3 players and search for the waves, uh, sound of the waves uh, in the ocean or, or the wind and things like that. Just the sound of your breath. Listen to the sound of your breath. <clears throat> this is one of the important components of yoga, where the eye starts looking within. 
with the ears start listening to sounds inside and therefore you turn the senses inward and that's why this is called an inward journey. Today's focus is on exhalation. We learned what inhalation was in the last class. What was it? Abdominal breathing, abdomen first, then chest. I said the abdomen is the engine. In exhalation, it's the same thing. The abdomen goes into first and then the chest follows. All right. So we're going to breathe in, abdomen out, chest out. Now breathe out, abdomen in, chest in. Always remember, this is your engine. The right hand is the engine. Okay, first, let's forget the breathing. Just keep your palms in front of your sternum and in front of your stomach. Okay, just move with me, just your palms. I, because the more the mind and the brain gets it clear, this is how the cycle goes, you will understand the rhythm. All right, abdomen out. Do it with me. Abdomen out, chest out. Abdomen in, chest in. Abdomen out, chest out. Abdomen in chest in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Let's flow it now, just with the palm, out, out, in, in, out, out, in. You see the flow now? This is how the flow is. This is how the flow is. Because of this movement, that is what creates the digestive power. That's when, when you do this breathing and you focus in meditation, through the ujjayi, through the glottis, and you bring in lots of volume of air is exchanged in and out, cleansing occurs. Not just for your lungs, because when you breathe in, you're you are breathing in oxygen, and that starts cleansing, and you're breathing out carbon dioxide. You're, you're getting the waste out of the system. So there's a powerful exchange that sets the foundation for more powerful cleansing breathing exercises. If you don't do this, and you start going, <laughs> Oh, I want to do Kapalabhati. Oh, I want to do Bhastrika. Now, these are advanced breathing exercises. You guess what will happen? You're going to be ending up in hypertension. And if you're already prone to high blood pressure, that's only going to worsen. But you've got to understand this process first, established. And for some of you, you may not even need that. This alone will keep the digestive fire alive, the, the fire of youth alive. So the, the benefits are so profound that at, at this point, if I make those claims, it's going to be like tall claims. Medical science is yet to discover the, the amount of benefit that yoga can offer. So, today, we're going to breathe in, and then we're going to breathe out. But today's exercise, I want you to focus on exhalation. I'm going to assume you didn't learn the breathing in part. I want you to focus on exhalation, okay? So, we're going to, though I'm going to say breathing in, I'm going, I want you to focus more on exhalation. Make sure you know that the abdomen is first and the chest follows. So, let's begin. Breathe in and breathe out. Abdomen first out and then the chest. Excellent. Breathe in. Now, breathe out. So, basically, once you're filled up, you start collapsing. So, when you collapse, you're, I'm just exaggerating again. Okay? You know, I don't want you to do this. Okay. But, if you, want, if you were to ask me to put this in form of a dance, this is how it's going to look. Abdomen out, chest out, abdomen in, chest out. This is the wave. This is the wave. So this is what is happening internally. So you want the abdomen out, chest out. By the, in the meantime, the abdomen has already, already started going backwards, and then the chest follows. Abdomen comes out. So this is the wave that you create constantly, constantly, constantly. It's very hypnotic and very trance-like uh, in its nature. So... Breathe out, breathe in, and as you fill your lungs up, you'll notice your stomach is already going in. So breathe out, collapse your chest. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. So abdominal breathing is not simply, not simply moving your abdomen in and out. It has to be followed with the chest. So you fill your lungs completely. Nature has provided us these magnificent machines, these lungs, that's constantly bellowing and filling your body with rich oxygen. We want to make use of that bag full. If somebody were to give you a bag and there's so much currency there and you would just fill it halfway, does it make, even make sense? No, you would fill the bag fully, right? If there's $100 bills lying around. You're going to fill it to the brim. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Fill this bag with 
this oxygen that nature supplies. So I want you to work until the next class. I want you to work on inhalation and exhalation. And in the next class, we will learn the magic of simply observing this rhythm. And until we meet again, be well, be willing, be wise, and stay blessed. Let's turn to Ratanjit for his wonderful thought. So we stay inspired for the rest of the day. Namaste. Namaste. The power in me bows to the power in you, unifying us in oneness. Our true purpose in life is to serve and add value, regardless of the circumstances. This may be difficult, but if we think about it, it is only when we selflessly serve that we feel the best about ourselves. This is because selflessly adding value is in line with our true purpose. The resulting joy and increased self-worth we feel is simply a byproduct of doing the right thing. And when we randomly and unconditionally bring richness and joy in others, we find ourselves to be joy-filled and stress-free. May the power within you enrich and empower your day.